A decision on whether to extend the life of the state's largest coal-fired power plant could be made within days as the government seeks to guarantee energy supplies. But the minister says she hasn't considered how much it would cost taxpayers amid claims it could stretch into the billions. With bushfire season upon us, the Premier was on the south coast warning communities to prepare for disaster, but it's the potential for an energy emergency that has the government sweating. At the end of the day, we need to make sure that the lights are on and energy costs are as low as possible. The state's largest coal-fired power plant, Iraring, is due to shut down in 2025, taking 20% of our energy generation offline. New wind, solar and battery power is being built to replace its capacity, but if those projects are delayed, there could be supply gaps. So the government is considering leaving Iraring open for an extra two years. Only the minister won't say how much an extension would cost taxpayers. We haven't looked at the figures in terms of how much it might cost. Matt Keane rejected plans for an extension when he was the minister in charge, saying the bill would have been $3 billion. The independent system operator says that no extension is needed, uh, and if they do so, it will be at a huge cost to taxpayers. Cabinet will now consider advice from a government-commissioned report on whether to extend the life of Vararing, we're told a decision is imminent. And in a debate of whether to close or not to close, there could be a third option. The former government considered mothballing the plant and paying only for basic maintenance in the case the renewable project stall and it needs to be fired up.